In this video, I want to go over a diagnostic tool for both Linux and Windows users called the Hirons Boot CDPE, the 64-bit version. It's an emergency diagnostic boot disk based on Windows 10 PE, a 64-bit version, and it's a great tool for repairing NTFS hard drives used in Linux system. It's also used to fix and repair the FAT32, which is usually used by USB disk. So if you found this video on YouTube, I will provide a link to this uh, link here because I will be adding on some rescue and recovery disk in the future so that way you can look if you don't like this one if it's too big you don't have to use it but I highly recommend it if you're a Windows user to make a copy of this because you never do know when your hard drive your NTFS hard drive will crash and you'll have to restore your files or folders on it so you just basically click this link and I'll also provide a link to this where you can go directly to here now to put this either on a CD or DVD or a USB I have some links here and I provide links on that page here where you can go to ISB to USB tools and I do have some tools that you can put it on to a DVD as well so this is what it will look like and in a few moments after I go over some of the descriptions I'll boot up into the live CD showing you how to use it but the Hirons boot CD one more time it's an emergency diagnostic disk used to repair files and folders from the NTFS hard drives used in Windows systems that can also be read in Linux systems. Now my particular hard drive that I'm using as my main hard drive for my Linux system it uses the partition the extended for ext4 which I can view files and folders within Linux but if I was to boot into Windows and look at this hard drive it won't recognize any of the files and folder it can't read the extend for partition whereas Linux can it not only read the extend for partition it can also read the NTFS partitions each of these uh, hard drives here was in a Windows system years ago and I created these files and folders instead of reformatting and copying everything and put an extend for I just left it as the NTFS uh, partition so that when I do have problems Linux really doesn't have any great tools for repairing the NTFS yes there's some tools but not all of the tools are work as good as the Windows commands like check disk and I'll show you that in just a few moments uh, here it says at the time of creating this web page uh, this is the version 1.02 you can click here and it will take you to the actual website uh, showing you the version this shows you all the the software that's on this particular uh, in this case is a DVD I made you could also put it to a USB it's 2.88 gigabytes so it will fit on a 4 gig DVD and if you have a 4 gig thumb drive or USB you can convert this ISO to a USB bootable USB or a bootable DVD so you can make, create a USB booting by clicking this it will give you the instructions or if you want to burn it to a DVD to make it bootable this shows you the links as well. I also have software that you can click here that will show you how to make either a bootable CD or DVD in my case or a USB. For Windows users you can burn to an ISO to a DVD by clicking this link or you can create a bootable USB drive by clicking this link. For Linux users I have some software, the Belina et Etcher, the Popsicle, the Boot Queue, and the USB image writing tools which are these tools here that eventually I will be adding some additional tools. But Let's take a look at what the program looks like once you first boot into it. It looks very similar to Windows 10, your typical Windows 10, but this is the Hirons Boot CD PE for Windows 10. It does have some of the the boot menus to what looks more like Windows 7. It's configured that way so it's easy access instead of looking through all the tiles and commercial products. So you can once you click on this you can choose all programs and scroll through and look at the programs. In a few moments I'll take I'll show you some of the images of the software that's pre-installed on this particular CD. If you go to the control panel once you click here there's control panel which is here and you, once you click the control panel go to the all control panel items and system it will show you that it is a version of Windows 10 it, but it is the manufacturer the creator called it Hirons Boot CDPE it's the 64-bit version it will show you the processor of your current machine that you're working on and what the frequency of it is it will show you how much memory that you're using you need at least two gigabyte of RAM in order to run this as you can see this old computer I'm working with has eight gigabytes it is the 64-bit operating system and as you can see here, it's uh, support 
it's the website you can click here for additional support and as you can see here there's the name of it and that's the additional uh, Windows information if you click onto the file manager it will open up Windows Explorer and as you can see here unlike opening my file manager within the Kaha file manager which is my extend for each of these is the NTFS except for that thumb drive which is FAT32 so I can click on any of these within Linux and read the files and folders unlike Windows the main hard drive in my system is extend for as you can see it doesn't read any of the files or folders on this particular hard drive it just basically shows you that whole hard drive is free to put something on it like a Windows file and folder which it's not really free because it just can't read that partition type here are the NTFS as you can see each of those this is the FAT32 the, the thumb drive so from time to time these may become corrupt so that your system your Linux system or Windows system can't access them or read them in this case that's this is good to have this DVD or USB on hand so that you can boot up into the USB or DVD and run check this to fix either a corrupted NTFS or FAT32 partition drive that's connected to your system that way you can not only try to repair you might can recover some of the files so that you're not losing everything on a particular hard drive so as you can see here this is basically a one and a half uh, terabyte hard drive this is a four terabyte hard drive this is a two terabyte hard drive and this is a 60 gigabyte thumb drive so if any of these crashes I could probably put the CD in there use check disk and hopefully I can restore some of the files so I don't lose every, any, everything on it so I, here as you if you're a window user you know that you can right click choose properties and bring up the properties to show that it's the NTFS file system on each of those except for that thumb drive and so it gives you additional information it shows you how much space is used and how much is free so this is your typical uh, Windows Explorer now on this particular example I will be using the USB flash drive for speed sake to, so if it like if it was corrupted how you can use check disk to fix a corrupted uh, flash drive or USB drive now once you boot into it you can click the Windows icon to bring up that looks like the Windows 7 on a Windows 10 type configured system now if you right click on the command prompt say run as administrator this allows you to access the drives and as you can look up here you can see the drive letters and this makes it where it's easier to see the drive letters this is drive uh, C, drive D, drive E, drive F, and drive G. Now I'll be scanning the drive F since it is the smaller of the of them because some of these big terabytes it may take several hours to several days to completely run the scan and to repair all the corrupt files. So it depends upon the size and how much damage is to the disk and how much time it takes. But once you right click and run as an administrator, you're then ready to put the command check disk into this particular command. Now you don't just put check disk and press enter. It will run on the hard drive. In this case will be the X drive which is the the actual bootable DVD. So you don't want it to run on that particular drive. You want it to run on the drive that you're checking. In this case this will be my drive F. So you're going to click and see which drive is the one that's corrupt. So in this case is check disk F. And I'm going to be using the F switch which fixes the logical disk errors. And then the R tries to perform uh, it tries to pull back and recover files that may be damaged so this will fix the bad sectors and this will try to recover files so that you're not losing everything so you just basically copy that paste it into your terminal and it will start scanning the F drive so it will come in through and do its little scan when it's finished it will tell you how much files uh, that if it had any corrupted files and if it fixed them and it will kind of create a folder where it will recover some files into it. Now if you, several weeks ago I had a problem where I deleted something from one of my NTSF uh, hard drives and it started to delete it and then it quit, it stopped. So I tried to empty the recycle bin and it wouldn't because it didn't put the entire program into it because the program had become corrupt. I tried to run some of the commands that Linux has and it couldn't repair them so I created this particular DVD booted into it ran that on that drive and it took several hours but after it fixed it I was then able to empty out the recyclable bin in Windows and I was able to recover some of the lost files and some of the stuff was junk so I deleted it so in just a few moments I'll be booting into that but before I do let, let's kinda take a quick look through the menu 
uh, if you would like to look at the menus before you actually download and put it on a USB or a DVD. You can scroll through and look at the particular programs that comes installed on this and there's lots and lots of recovery tools and backup files and and diagnostic tools that you can use to repair your NTFS uh, drives on your system. So again even though this is a Windows type CD it's used for Linux users that has the NTFS, NTFS partition drives within your Linux system. Now in just a few moments I will be booting into it so right now I'm going to pause my disk or pause this video and I'm going to boot into the disk so in just a few moments I'll be back okay here I am booted up into the Hiram's boot CD of PE for Windows 10 the 64-bit version and if you look in the lower left corner you see that there's a window icon or Windows icon and as you can see there's not much at the top you have your Windows command prompt your Windows Explorer you have Google Chrome which I already have uh, minimized at the bottom a registry error a pin network a Windows calculator and then you have the all programs and I'm not going to go through each of those because on my website if you want to see what's in each folder you can actually view those you can hit the back button you can go to your documents your pictures your music your videos your downloads your favorites which I've not used uh, this PC your control panel and if you open up the control panel you can go to a category view your large icons the small icons and you can uh, go through it as if this was your typical Windows 10 system now going back to here you got your command prompt you run now here you also have the command prompt let me open up the Windows Explorer for a moment to show you that on this particular system and I'll maximize this this is the extend 4 which is my uh, primary hard drive which has my Linux operating system my Ubuntu Mate and as you can see Windows does not see files on an extend 4 partition it thinks that's an empty hard drive ready to put things on there whereas it does recognize the NTFS and the FAT32 this right here is a USB drive and it is a FAT32 if I go to properties you can see here the file system is FAT32 and any of these others like D E and G if I right click on those and choose properties as you can see here the file system is a NTFS so this is a, a one terabyte hard drive this is a four terabyte hard drive that's a two terabyte hard drive so if I was to scan those it would take a very long time this is basically a two gigabyte thumb drive USB drive whereas those are hard drives so this is a FAT32 so it will work the same as it will these drives but now in Windows you have drive letters unlike in Linux you know that's associated a drive letter C which is in Linux it's not associated with a drive letter here we're going to remember that my thumb drive or my USB drive is drive S so we're going to open up our command prompt but to do that we're going to right click on it and choose run as administrator and it's going to open up on your screen the thing that you're going to type in and if you forgot you can refer to my website and I don't mean to click the snipping tool I meant to click here you can scroll down and in this case our USB drive was drive F so you can simply if you've got the same command you cut and paste the the check disk command that I have here you're going to have check disk drive F and then you're going to use the forward slash F for fix and the R to recover the files that could be damaged on your system or possibly damaged on your system so if you don't have access to a USB or a hard drive you open up the command prompt you type in the chk dsk space put the drive letter of the drive that you can't access colon which is the dot over the dot space forward slash f space forward slash r press the enter return key as you can see here it says the type of file system is a fat 32 because it is my thumb drive the, vo the volume is a verbatim this was a verbatim thumb drive created and it tells when that thumb drive uh, was created on uh, uh, the eighth month the 29th day of 2022 at 4 21 p.m. there's the serial number for that volume Windows is verifying the files and folders files and ver folders where verification is complete now Windows is verifying the free space free space was verification is complete Windows has now scanned the file system and found no problems now if you did have access to a corrupt thumb drive or a hard drive it should tell you the number of files that had problems it says no further action required it tells you how much disk space was basically two gigabytes 
in six folders and 12 files and bytes available on the disk so even though I do have six files or 12 files and six folders I still almost have two gigabytes of free space so it tells you everything you need to know so if I really actually had a hard drive corrupt which was either my drive D drive E or drive G where I use the check disk drive F you would put the drive letter of the corrupt drive so this this is what I used to fix one of my hard drives and it actually it was the same hard drive that would not mount it was drive D I was going through here cleaning off some files and when I went to delete it and put it in the recycle bin or the trash bin it put an icon in the trash bin but then it stopped I couldn't empty the bin I couldn't restore the bin and then when I tried to access the file from the, the drive itself it would give me an error message so what I did is I went check disk D space forward slash F forward slash space forward slash R and it took a long time but when it did it created a a folder and actually it took what was in the trash and so I could go here and empty out these folders and when I did I was then able to empty out the trash bin within my Linux system and it also created a folder that I could look through and recover it had a recover folder and I think there it is the recovery folder and it actually allowed me to go through here and recover files that it found within the drive when it went through and did a recovery so if you have a Linux system that uses the NTFS partition hard drives within your system or that you connect to it and you can't access it anymore then you might want to create this particular Highwinds boot CD PE64 because it will come in handy when you have to restore those uh, corrupt files on the disk that was partitioned with the NTFS or FAT32. Now, as you can see here, the reason I chose the drive S, drive F is because it's a US, small USB that didn't take long to scan. So hopefully this makes sense to you and hopefully uh, if you're a Windows user you'll create either a boot CD or a boot USB or a boot DVD so that way if your Windows system ever collapses you can boot up to either USB or the CD and you can access those files and save them to another folder let's say for example you know you you have a drive letter C in your Windows and that's where your Windows system is you cut your computer on and you can't access those so here, if you got other hard drives, you might could boot this up, access your drive C. In my case, since it's Linux, I'm not going to. Let's pretend like this is drive C. So I could click here, and then I could copy the files and folders to either an external hard drive or another internal hard drive so that I can scan and repair it and fix your Windows system so that it will boot up. So this is a great utility tool, and I've just showed the check disk. I didn't show you all the other programs that's on this system that will allow you to recover allows you to work on your uh, network accessibility security startup items in this case there's no startup items system tools you have a lot of things that you can use to fix your system hopefully this video has helped someone and have a great day